with the Kristen Brown. She is a life coach here in the Valley. And, and we thought we'd have you come on board, Kristen, and talk about how we can sort of journey and, and find that spiritual journey without leaving, even though it would be really nice to to head to India or wherever we might go. Absolutely. And the key to discovering your, to rediscovering yourself is really about creating a space, creating a space in your mind and in your life to allow new things to come in. Well, I don't know how, I mean, it's obvious I just talked about, I can't even call my brain during a facial. What's the, the first step? Like, how do we get ourselves there? Well, really, I think the key, the very first step would be meditation. Okay. And when you meditate, you get out of the thinking part of your brain and more into the uh, deeper awareness that lies within. So it's about calming yourself down and taking some moments every day. To do people debrief. have to learn how to meditate? Yes, they do. It takes practice. It takes practice. So anybody that hasn't meditated yet, you might want to go get a CD or just sit down and start real basically by just saying your name over and over say and over again. Say your name? Say your name. Okay. That's the best way to center yourself is to just say your name. And when, like, if you keep finding yourself sort of going off just come back to say your name. If, if I go off, I acknowledge the thought, and I come back right to where I was. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. Good to know. All right, so you, the next thing you say is a stay in the now. Yes. Staying in the now is about being fully present in your life right now. It's about, they say living with true joy is living right now. And that means when we're running around in this crazy life and we're thinking, 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 it's just stopping and saying, I'm moving this over here. I'm going to go get in my car. It's about simplifying, and that takes you out of the crazy mind chatter and brings you back down to now. It's about smelling the roses. You know, and I think sometimes, you know, you hear something on the news, something horrible, mm -hmm. and it sort of reminds you that, you know what, cleaning the kitchen and stressing out, yelling at the kids, not really a big deal. Absolutely. Sometimes I do that, but unfortunately I learned the hard way, Absolutely. you know, that you have to do that. All right, you also say journaling. Journaling. Journaling is, a, is an amazing way to sit down and get your emotions and your insights and your dreams out of you. It's creating a safe place for just for you without any outside influences of people trying to tell you what you should think, shouldn't think. And once you get your journaling down, when you look back at it, you realize how far you've come or where you want to go. So journaling is an awesome thing. You know, I would journal, but so, so many times I feel like, and not that I write anything crazy or I would, but I feel like, what if someone steals it? See, I, <laughs> and like they would really care. I have I to tell to you, say, that was my problem for years and years. I'm afraid I sometimes to, to put down my weaknesses and, and what I, I, I know. was laughing. But you'd be, you'd, be <laughs> you'd be surprised at how cleansing it is. And just put it in a safe space or put some, you know, hopefully your family can respect the fact that that's your personal thing. And I, I have three boys at home. I don't know if there's... If they probably they don't want to read it. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> they don't want to know what mommy's thinking. Okay, you also said replace the negative self-talk. Replacing negative self-talk. I think that's a big one because a lot of times we as people say, we can't do it, I can't do it, I'm not good enough, I'm not strong enough, I don't want to go there, I don't know these people. If you can turn that, those thoughts around into higher loving words, you'd be surprised at where you find yourself in life. And it's, it's about encouraging yourself and loving yourself most and putting yourself first. And when you do that, it's really amazing what doors open because you really do start to feel better and your, vib your vibration changes. And what you put out to people comes back to you. Now, do you think maybe we should do some self-talk like every day or like I before we head out the door? I know there's some people that have a little chat with themselves. I actually do that. You do? <laughs> I talk to myself on a daily basis and I, I try to tell myself if I think, oh, I say no and I switch it around to the opposite. And it takes practice because we want to be stuck in that mode, but we're all human and we're talking to ourselves constantly, so why not make it something positive? Perfect. So you have a, yeah. that little like cheerleader within yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Be your own cheerleader. All Absolutely. right. This one you say is a just say yes. This is my favorite thing, just say yes. And it's actually how I got on the show because someone offered it to me and I said, yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Did you want to say yes or were you afraid? I was like, okay, um, yes. <laughs> actually, I put it out there that I wanted some new opportunities. So it was actually, it came right to me. It was like within a week. So anyway, just saying yes, is, what that means to me is, or it should mean to everybody, is, is saying yes to the small opportunities that come into your life. When someone offers you a small thing, like, do you want to take a class with me? Do you want to try this new restaurant? Do you want to meet so-and-so? Do you want to go to a social? Say a lot of times, oh, no, I'm busy. Oh, I got laundry tonight. Oh, I have this. But when you say yes to life, you are actually opening yourself up to new experiences. Even small experiences can lead you to greater things that you guys have probably all had in your life at some point. I'm not saying do anything dangerous. I'm going to throw that disclaimer in there. 
But, um, you know, don't go if jump off If your gut says don't timer. jump off the air, out yeah. of the airplane, you don't know, do you it. Know, use discernment. Go inside. Decide if it's good for you. But saying yes is really my favorite thing because it really and truly is about getting out of your own way. We hold ourselves down and we keep ourselves back. It's about just opening the door and getting out of our own way. Well, I'm glad you said yes because you did a fantastic well, job. Well, thank you. It was great to I be here. I think it's great information, and we're going to tell people how they can get a hold of you. Okay. Hope you enjoy the movie. I know you read the book. I did. So if you want to get some more information, and maybe you need to sort of rediscover yourself and find your spiritual journey, just go to sonoranliving.com, and you'll find all the information for Kristen.